The sheriff said he's busy, but we saw his car parked outside of Annie's. Busy. I've been following him all day to see what he's really up to. Come on, Bruce. I'm a police officer. I know you've been following me since Centerville. This is how I get my tips. It looks like the sheriff really is busy. Uh, I'll do the lobster for two. Uh, could you put that on Gary's tab? Afternoon, Sheriff. How you doing, sir? Here's your coffee. Thank Watch you out, espresso. It's going to be a long night. You're going to need it. It is. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You're welcome. <sighs> I'll tell you, writing these cards out every single year, I'm definitely looking for that special Valentine. I'm hoping this year things will change. This year, somebody out there will know somebody who is profiled on our warrants page. To the person who gives us the tip or the information that leads to the arrest of the one in person, I promise you that I will personally deliver to you one dozen roses and a box of chocolates. So you can save me a lot of headache by having to write out all these personal Valentine's Day to all of my special Valentines by giving us that anonymous tip or contacting us. I'll deliver those flowers and chocolates right to you. As always, you know, the tips that you give me are just between you and me. Maureen Claire Hart, she's a white female. She was charged with failure to appear on April the 19th, 2004 on an original charge of driving on a suspended license. She's five foot seven inches tall, 150 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. She was born on June 20th, 1953. Her last known address is 52 Craftsman's Court in Reisterstown, Maryland. Scott Everett Wood, he's a white male. He was charged with a violation of probation on February 13th, 2003. His original charges are driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol and a controlled dangerous substance possession of paraphernalia. He's five foot 11 inches tall, weighs 150 pounds, and has black hair and brown eyes. He was born on February 6th, 1971. His last known address is 2119 Lover's Lane in Wilmington, Delaware. Michael Anthony Hartledge. He's a white male, failed to appear in circuit court on March 6, 2014, on the original charges of a controlled dangerous substance possession, not marijuana, controlled dangerous substance possession of paraphernalia, and a controlled dangerous substance administration equipment, which means that they possessed or distributed the equipment. He's five foot 11 inches tall, 150 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes and was born on December the 10th, 1989. His last known address is local here at 312 Dorchester Road in Stevensville, Maryland. Lacey Marie Witten, she's a white female. She failed to appear in circuit court on December the 21st, 2017 for a civil matter. She's five foot four inches tall, 130 pounds. She has blonde hair and green eyes. She was born on August 10th, 1980. Her past known and last known address is 1217 Old Love Point Road in Stevensville, Maryland. Stephen Richard Hartman, white male, failed to appear in district court on December the 8th, 2010 on the original charge of failure to obey a traffic control device. He's five foot 11 inches tall, 195 pounds. He's bald and has brown eyes. He was born on March 18, 1956. His last known address is 75 Palomita Court in Westminster, Maryland. If you have any information on his whereabouts, contact Westminster PD, let them know. Thanks for making this one of my most special Valentine's days ever. It's important to keep those tips flowing into us. I wanna give a special thanks to the Acme and Centerville for their support of chocolates and flowers that hopefully I'll be able to give away to that one tipster who gives me that tip. Special thanks to Annie's for allowing us to film within their restaurant and location. But special thanks to the staff at QAC TV for making this super special. Special thanks to the Queen Anne's County Commissioners for their support as well. Again, a thanks to you, the viewer, for all of your tips and all of your support. Everything you give us adds up to that one important capture. Keep those tips coming in. Happy Valentine's Day.